So to start making our actual paint medium, egg tempera paint, we want to get the yolk oil out of the egg, which is just the yellow um, oil within the sack of the yolk. And that's what makes traditional egg tempera paintings. I'm carefully discarding the white of the egg just by shifting it back and forth between the eggshells. And then I'm going to clean it off further by carefully putting it on a piece of paper towel. So I also had a thumbtack here and that's to actually separate the egg oil from uh, the yolk sac. But you want to hold on to the actual uh, sac that holds together the egg oil. And all that we want is the yellow yolk. So I also just want to say Use the egg sparingly. Um, it's probably going to be more than enough to do two eggs at a time. And you could get through um, a bigger painting than you might expect with just a couple of eggs. So now what we can do is add approximately a sixth of the volume of water to this uh, egg oil and um, the egg oil has a very strong capacity to absorb water. The other thing that I have here is uh, clove oil. It's an essential oil just taken from clove plants and in this context it's used as a preservative so the egg oil would last um, three to four days in a dark cool area um, it would last longer in the refrigerator usually about a week or so and the clove oil can help to preserve that um, time even further and you kind of know with this stuff, once it starts smelling bad, then the egg uh, tempera is no longer really good to work with. So I just added five or six drops of this. And you can use an egg beater, um, but you really want to mix this well because it's our uh, paint medium. So I'm using a, an electronic mixer. So there we have it, we have our egg tempera medium. So here's a vegan alternative to egg tempera. This is gum tempera. And we're going to start with a base of gum arabic solution. And uh, I'm looking carefully at how much is here, 2.5 ounces. Um, and on the formula sheet that you received, uh, it says that we do five parts gum arabic um, to one part damar, one part stand oil, and three quarters parts pure glycerin. So 2.5 divided by five is half, 
half an ounce. So what I'm going to do is uh, half an ounce of the stand oil, half an ounce of the Damar varnish, and you'll see in the instructions that it says to mix these two ingredients together first. And something worth taking note of is there's traditional Damar varnish which uses um, turpentine and this is just a safer um, citrus based Damar varnish. So there's something interesting about this mixture, which is we just mix together what are t basically two oil painting mediums. And uh, gum arabic is uh, the medium for watercolor. So this is a water soluble um, medium. And these are oil soluble mediums. Um, and what we're making here is what's called an emulsified mix. Meaning there is oil in the mixture, but it's going to be uh, water soluble in the end as a tempera paint. And we want to mix this really well. Um, and what happens is that the oil particles become so small that they're just dispersed within a water soluble mixture. So there's kind of a special technique for mixing this medium. We start with the gum arabic solution and we're going to add the oil solution very slowly in sort of a steady stream as we're mixing it. Then the final part of this mixture is adding glycerin. And this isn't something that we usually find at art supply stores. Actually, drug stores usually have glycerin. So a lot of people add this to hand soaps. And in the context of paint, it adds flow to the paint. So now we have our gum tempera medium. And uh, one thing I'll say is it takes a little bit more effort than to make um, the egg tempera medium, but this medium also will last a long time, um, similar to other kinds of paints, uh, acrylic or oil. Um, it'll easily last six months, maybe a year or more. And again, the thing that I didn't really show before, it's good to have a jar or a container to store this in. 